I'm so cooked for my GCSEs. I have no idea what this is. Let me have a look at that, Armin. Oh, that's just paper chromatography. Could you explain it to me? Sure thing. Share this video with a friend who's also cooked. Paper chromatography is used to separate the different dyes in an ink. You set it up by drawing a baseline on a piece of paper with a pencil and placing a small spot of ink in the center of the baseline. Then, you put the paper into a beaker with water or ethanol, but make sure the liquid level is below the baseline. And it's super important to use a pencil for the baseline. You'll see why in a sec. So how does this setup separate the ink into its different dyes? Once the paper is in the beaker, the liquid starts moving up the paper. As the water or ethanol travels upward, it carries the ink with it. Different dyes in the ink move at different speeds depending on how well they dissolve in the solvent. Oh, so the dyes that travel further must be more soluble in the solvent, right? Exactly. The more soluble a dye is, the further it moves up the paper. The dyes that don't dissolve as well will stay closer to the baseline. That makes sense. But why did you say it's important to use a pencil for the baseline? Good question. If you used a pen, its ink would dissolve in the solvent and mix with your results, messing up the experiment. But pencil is made of graphite, which doesn't dissolve in water or ethanol, so it stays put. Oh, that's clever. So once the solvent has moved up the paper and separated the dyes, how do we analyze the results? You measure how far each dye traveled compared to how far the solvent moved and calculate something called the RF value. That stands for retention factor. You just divide the distance the dye traveled by the distance the solvent traveled. So if I get the same RF value as a known dye, I can figure out what's in the ink? Exactly. Scientists use this method to identify unknown substances, even in forensic science and food testing. But you only need to know what I've just taught you for your exams. Thanks, Aaron. I think I might actually survive my GCSEs now. Nah, you're still cooked. Follow Jaeger GCSE for more revision.